Okay, let me explain how to change the tube on the barista robot and install the armored sleeve. Okay, first thing we do, probably the best thing, get a couple of books to prop it up. I built a little table thing. So what we need, we got five and a three millimeter. Yeah, it's two and a half. No, you don't need two, two and a half. You need a two if, if you want to take the gauge bracket off. Okay, so first thing, five millimeter. Maybe the tube is broken in half or whatever, but um, if it hasn't broke yet, first thing you do, you need to disconnect the top fitting okay pull the collar towards the fitting and then the tube goes the opposite direction okay sometimes it's a bit tricky so you may want to sort of pull the tube first and then pull the collar I mean it's meant to be difficult let us remove the piston with the five millimeter thing. Remove the pin, keep that. So there is our yeah. piston. Some junk in there. Right. So this is the new the new type fitting. The older one needs um Alan, uh, sorry, a, a socket to remove it from the top. What was it? Ten, I think it was. Right, came back. I confirm to remove the older type. You need a nine millimeter socket. It goes anti-clockwise. Okay, so you got the new one, or you can re, re reinstall the other one. Okay, but we had to change supplier. Okay. So, with the older one, you can install it with the socket from that way, or if you got the new one, you can't actually get a socket down. So, okay. That comes like this, the new one. And so what we'll, you should have some Teflon string just to back up. Okay. So you need a couple of threads at the beginning clear so you can spin it in. There we go. So we'll turn that. Just enough to catch the thread. We'll turn it upside down. Anti clockwise, obviously, it's upside down. Then we'll tighten it up. There we go. I can feel that's tight, and now that's flush. Right, so we've got the large hole up, small hole that way. Then we've got the tube that side. This one's bent. Okay, I'll put in a new tube. Okay. This is a brand new tube. Okay, so that went in. Right. <clears throat> okay. I forgot to... Right, so that's that done. Three millimeter again. Actually, we need to remove the arm to three millimeter, push the pin out. Okay. So we need the one which is closest to you with the label and it has the pressure gauge on. Okay, we'll leave that over there for a second. Put a cloth so we don't scratch anything. 
Okay, so. Pressure gauge up. So what we do now, we push that as far as it will go. Right? Let me take our uh, cable clip. Okay. Cut it. it. Should be pre cut. It's roughly half. All right. So there's our cable clip. Peel off the backing. So try and get as high as you can up there. Don't need to go crazy, one or two millimeters below that. So we want the the T, the bottom of the T, approximately in line with the, the edge, okay? So we like that. Turn it over. Using the pin for the piston. Don't you can see that. Right, just hold it roughly there. So you bend that 90 degrees. Then we're going to use this as a, a, a form to bend it over. So easy, okay? We just do that. We'll just pinch it there. Just so the pin can sort of slide in and out. And that's it, really. So that's our guide for the sleeve, okay? And that's all we need to do, right? Let's just check. Okay, sleeve fits in there nicely. Now we've got to put it together again. Get my spacers out. Right. Label facing towards you. The pin comes from that side. Now, the middle is always the fattest spacer, and there's should be a couple of others in there. So this is the the plain lever goes at the back. One there. Now I've got my thicker washer. And now this is the one with the gauge and our thing. So the gauge faces you. And of course the the loop should be facing away from you. So that goes it's a bit tricky. Especially when I can't see. Okay, so this is a bit fiddly. You just pull it back just enough so this can go down, but you don't want that wafer thing. Okay. This is a. There you go. Hours of fun. Then. Okay, so now I've got my thin washer. I just want to slide it in. What, what I found is if you sort of move the arm up and down it will pull that one in there we go pop the front screw back on these don't need to be tight I never tighten these I just finger tight now robot on its side so what you've got now you, the loop if you can see is basically in between the two levers. Now, piston, label up, big hole up, tube left side. Now, we get this, we put the tube in between the levers into that loop, okay? Now I'm looking down there. Yeah, you can see it. And somehow we need to get those two the two holes in the the smaller levers lined up correctly. It's a bit fiddly. Okay. Give it a little wiggle. We get our pin. It's not the easiest job. Yeah, that just moves. To be honest, it's a lot easier without this on there. But 
that's another thing I want to take that out now you can sort of feel it so that one's in now I just want to there you go so that pushing down there and then that popped in so we can tighten that up I don't need to go mad right so this tube is now going up through that white loop now we take our sleeve pop it down Right, you might need to jiggle it about just to get it through the loop. Uh, okay, this is just a rough one that I haven't cleaned. Turn it upside down, just put it back. Right, so you should have about two centimeter after you compress that. That will give you just enough pop it in there let me see <laughs> this is probably the worst bit of the whole thing sometimes these push fittings are tight obviously they're meant to be tight I reckon it would be easier let's remove that 13 millimeter socket uh, spanner sorry okay we remove that because to be honest I was bending it there it's unnatural for the now pull back the sleeve we're gonna push this on okay goes on once uh, initially it will move about three or four millimeters and then you gotta try and get that second one which will pop it in a bit more okay I just felt it there was a double movement there so it'll move a bit and then you've got to force it a bit more. I think it goes in about 12 millimetres. Right, so now we'll try by hand if we can spin the nut to get the thread started. Okay, that went in quite easily. Sometimes they're a bit of a pain. Right. So I'll just snug that up. There's an, a Viton ring. Doesn't need to be too tight. There we go. I'll just try and line it up to make it look good. And that is it. So the first time you lift this up, you will need to just find a position for that. Hopefully it will find its own position. That. So now the tube is it's tied in there. It can still move up and down, but obviously it can't move around. There we go. So that's how you do that. And then it shouldn't get trapped.